Hey Alex, I've tried everything. I've tried staying further away from the panel, very close to the panel. I've tried short treatment times, long treatment times, and I still don't feel the difference. Uh, what should I do? Am I doing something wrong? So first up, I mean, you may not have tried all different approaches. I mean, there's some really powerful devices, you know, there's, there's low power, there's distances, there's time of day, all sorts of variables at play, which is why dosing and treatment protocols can be very challenging to come up with. And also keep in mind that, yeah, there are some non-responders, you know, people who do try lots of things, lots of products and just don't notice anything, in which case it's um, unfortunate, but it's also quite a mystery because yeah, there is so much credible science and user case reports on how it does help with all sorts of ailments and even things such as just wound healing or joint recovery, you know, things that are quite noticeable. There could be benefits happening that you just don't pick up on. There could be long-term benefits. I think the key thing to remember though is, you know, red light therapy is, it's not a magic pill. The better way to think of it is to see it as like a slight advantage. You know, it's gonna help, you know, 5%, give you a 5% boost or something like that, right? Which isn't that big, but if you're suffering from pain or you're looking to improve performance in the gym, 5%, even 10%, you know, like, that's huge right so just keep that in mind 